dog is also impure similarly the dog is also impure now the question arises is the complete dog impure or only the saliva on the mouth is impure another question now question arises in your mind that you know can i touch a dog or not what if i touch dog do i have to wash seven times and one time with dirt and seven times with water that's another question the ulama have got two opinion on this majority of the scholars they say that the complete dog is impure why why rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam specifically mentions about its saliva ida walaq al kalb it if it's licks in the pot the water whatever it is now the majority of the ulama they say that the complete dog is impure why can anybody tell me can anybody guess no because hmm, no why the dog is impure among the majority of the scholars is that the dog licks the body the dog licks its body you must have seen the animals licking its own body right so what goes to the body the saliva the saliva is impure so majority of the scholars of the opinion that the entire dog is impure so it if if it touches your body for example if it touches a cloth if it touches the table or, or the place where you know uh, any place or uh, the utensil whatever it is then you have to wash it for seven times this is the opinion of majority of the scholars but imam malik ibn taymi rahimahullah and some other scholars they say that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam did not mention the entire of the dog he mentioned only the saliva and this is the opinion of whom imam malik and ibn taymi rahimahullah so the two opinions here entire dog is impure the other opinion is only the saliva and the mouth is impure and this is what would be correct because you know whenever you go out on uh, for example you go to the park anywhere you will find dogs there and you have to pray and there is no masjid and you have to pray on the ground and you you do not know whether there is najis or not impurity or not and you know that dog has passed many times in the, that way if you are not certain that there is no impurity on the in that particular place then you can pray but keeping this in the mind you will not be pray you will able to pray anywhere so according to me i go with the opinion of ibn taymi rahimahullah which is wasat which is moderate opinion but either ways the ulama have got their own istidlal inshallah another question here arises that can we use dog as pets at home we all know that it is not allowed except in some cases what are the cases for security purpose for security purpose for example you have a farm and you find some animals coming and spoiling the crops uh, crops so in that case you can utilize the dog you can utilize the dog as a security and for the house for example outside you don't supposed to encourage inside for you have property something you are using the dog for as a security but otherwise you're not supposed to 